The original ending to the fight in Palpatine's office was just shared by stunt coordinator Nick Giller, and it's time to settle once and for all who really won this duel. I am going to end this once and for all. Nick, the lead choreographer, believes that Darth Sidious threw the fight, and that if he wasn't holding back, he would have creamed Windu. Palpatine would have creamed him. But George Lucas disagrees, going on the record to say that Mace genuinely beat him, which is likely why he chose to cut out this part of the choreography where Palpatine smacks him in the ass. Okay, well this sequence always started out with Mace overpowering Palpatine and then Palpatine using his powers. But this part where he pretends to lose his power and be weak was something that I added later. As the creator of Star Wars, George has the ultimate authority, so I would argue that this makes Master Windu the official winner of the duel. Another deleted segment would have made this more clear, as you witness Mace relentlessly pressuring the Sith Lord, backing him up to the point where he has to throw a desk out of his way. It would have been a great demonstration of not only Windu's superior swordsmanship, but more importantly, the Emperor's formidable force powers. So it makes you wonder, what would have happened if Mace Windu went head to head with the Chosen One himself? We know that the office fight originally had Anakin there from the start, and that coupled with this promotional image sparked a lot of rumors that there was also a deleted fight between Anakin and Mace. But this wasn't even the biggest piece of evidence for such a duel. The Revenge of the Sith game, which was based on early drafts of the script, is notorious for including cutscenes. Just to name a few, there's the extended Battle of Coruscant, where they have to escape through the fuel, and there's also Anakin's fight against Master Syndralic during Order 66. This scene was filmed, but ultimately deemed too violent, so they shrunk a few seconds of it down to show as a hologram. But anyway, if you haven't played the video game, you may have guessed that there's a part where Anakin and Windu clash blades. We walked Nick Gillard through our team area, we, sh we walked him through the game each sequence so he would understand what we're focusing on, and he was able to, to comment and correct us when we were, were going astray. In the game, it's Anakin who kills Mace, not Palpatine. There's a whole duel complete with extra dialogue that elaborates more on why Anakin sees the Jedi as evil. Letting you kill him is against our Jedi beliefs. I won't allow it. Anakin, come to your senses. You can really see Anakin unleash all of his pent-up rage as he sends Windu flying with the Force. Towards the end of the fight, Anakin lands a backhand punch. This is his iconic attack in the Revenge of the Sith video game, and we actually see it used in both the alternate Dooku vs Anakin fight, as well as an extended portion of the 2 on 1 fight that was in the movie. Members of the channel had the pleasure of witnessing the entire footage from this fight, but will we ever get to see early test footage of a duel between Mace and Anakin? I actually spoke with Mace Windu stunt double Kyle Rowling and got to ask if he ever rehearsed for this alleged duel. Unfortunately, his answer was no, so I honestly have no idea why the game unfolds the way it does. To show what a hypothetical duel could have looked like, I altered the original Anakin vs Obi-Wan choreography by making one of the sabers purple and adding in Mace's dialogue from the game. Members get exclusive access to this full concept duel, as well as the full original fight in Palpatine's office, finished with music, sounds, and background VFX. If you want to access tons of content that isn't available to the public, tap the button on the left to join the channel, or tap on the right to browse all of the extra Star Wars footage that you can unlock. May the Force be with you.